I'm reading Easy Grammar, a serial poem in nine parts. Stop. Look at the bottom portion of the cover of your answer document. Read along silently while I read aloud. When you finish the writing test, you will see the following stop sign. When you see this stop sign, you should know what to do because everyone knows that stop means. If you don't say stop, does it mean you're saying? When you see this stop sign, do not go on to the next part in the test book. Use a number two pencil. Do not write beyond pages two and three. Write only on the lines provided. Are there any questions? Object of the preposition. All students must understand a word that is usually a preposition may sometimes be an adverb, just as a linking verb may sometimes be a helping verb, just as a mentor may sometimes be a, may sometimes be a noun. In that case, we call it a gerund. Students must recognize when a verb acts like a noun. We won't call it a verb since it can be a subject. We won't call it a noun for it can have an object. In that case, we call it alleged. Students should be aware of becoming an object. In this case, we will call it a preposition as it will show the relationship between subject and object. The girl inside her body becomes the girl behind her body becomes the girl outside her body. Directions. Choose the best phrase to describe your life at this time. Fill in the bubble that matches the answer. Be sure to fill in the bubble completely and make your mark heavy and dark. If you want to change an answer, completely erase the mark you made before making a new mark. All marks must point to separation. Girl, image, imagination. The girl's body no longer the body of the girl. The body about, above, around, before, behind, beneath, beside, besides the girl. The body of the girl was found where she found everything besides the girl. Students will often mistake the object of the preposition for the subject itself. Conjunction or adverb. Look at the context. An adverb one day may be a conjunction the next. This happens so fast, so you must be prepared. One day a word lifts you up like a father, but the next it cuts you down like a father. Passive or active. The chicken nugget was eaten by Fred is one option, but most believe Fred ate the chicken nugget is more correct, when really they're just different. For example, she was emptied is just different from he emptied her. Declarative. Example set A. The body of the girl was found where she found everything besides the girl. The body of the girl looked like a body to the girl. The body of the girl felt like a body. Example set B. The girl could see a body being moved. The girl could see a body and its use. The girl could see a body. Connotation. There can be many connotations to one statement, and it is imperative to understand which is most likely to be accurate given the rhetorical situation. For instance, when your best friend says, at least you weren't raped, you should not assume he means, I think you're overreacting. Likewise, if your other best friend says, but I thought you liked him. Agreement. Avoid choosing what sounds right when most likely you've been hearing it incorrectly your entire life. For example, anyone who hasn't learned how to protect their body deserves what they get. How many times did you hear it before you began to believe? And when it stopped, how many times did you repeat what they had all wrong? 
Anyone who hasn't learned how to protect her or his body, is that how you say it? Can you tell me which part of this is wrong? Illusion versus illusion. Be careful of mistaking illusion for illusion, though sometimes they may be one and the same. For example, when I ask if you've begun to see yourself as half fairy, half imp, no, it is an illusion from a story where no jail was ever more secure before the looking glass. All looked colder and darker in that visionary hollow than in reality. And the strange little figure there gazing with the white face and arms specking the gloom and glittering eyes of fear moving where all else was still had the effect of a real spirit. For example, when I ask if you've begun to see yourself as half fairy, half imp, no, it is an illusion from a story that had nothing to do with you. Well and good. Raise your hand if you have a dog. Keep it up if you said good dog. That's right. Now, I need you to remember that you've always known good to be an adjective. So well must be an adverb. When someone asks, how are you doing? You may reply, I am doing well, and that's right. But you won't always be doing well, will you? That's why I need you to remember good. Good dog, good food, good friends, good person. Before you knew adjectives and adverbs, before you knew what could modify what, or who could modify you, you always knew deep down inside. Good. Thank you.